Welcome to Zion Dew. Uh, my name is Pastor Ian Okwado. And um, just speaking about a walking with God in 2023. Uh, there's a story um, in the Bible when Israel was going uh, to the promised land and they reached a place where they needed to fight their enemies at a small city called Ai. Now, in that city, it had only a few people. And when they discussed among themselves, they realized that they did not need the entire Israelite army to go in, but just a few people to go and fight. Now, the trouble with them was that they had rebelled against the Lord. And as the army prepared to go and fight, Moses cautioned them and he told them, do not go to this war because God is not with you. They defied the command of Moses and they went ahead because they looked at the city, it was small, it had few people, it was weak. And they said, this one, we can take it over. Or we can walk, it's, it's a walkover. And when they went there, the Bible says that they were chased like bees. And many of them died on that day. And when you look at it, Moses had told them, don't go, because God is not with you. And there are, well, there, there are battles that we are going to face in 2023. There are places that we need to go. We have missions to go to. We have assignments to accomplish. I want to let you know that some of them are mission impossible if God is not with you. You may have survived in the past. Um, you may have experience in war. It may look like familiar territory for you. But I want to submit to you that even uh, what looks like a small battle a small challenge, a small sickness, you know, you need God to be able to overcome. So my encouragement to you is choose to walk with God in 2023. As you face the various different kinds of enemies that are coming against you, you need God on your side. The Israelites were relying on their own strength. They were relying on their experience. They were relying on their victories of yesterday. And it failed them. The arm of flesh failed them. And the arm of flesh will fail us if we do not walk with God. So walking with God is not a matter of choice for a Christian, for a believer who wants to live a victorious life, but it is mandatory for us to be able to walk in this world um, being spotless, being blameless, being righteous in the sight of God. We need God. So we... Uh, we look at these things in, in, in Hebrews, the Bible says that these things were written so that we don't make the same mistakes. They are examples to us so that we don't uh, make assumptions and we don't fall into the same pitfall and the same pits that these people fell into. 
And again, um, we also see the life of King David. David is a man that is acclaimed as a man after God's own heart. And when we look at his story, we realize that he lived in a time when Israel was surrounded by numerous um, and hostile nations all around. The story has not changed even today, it is the same. But David uh, comes on the scene as somebody who is walking with God. His confidence when he was going into battle was that he was walking with God. And you can read the story of David and Goliath uh, in First Samuel chapter uh, 17, where he goes uh, to fight this giant. And as he went in, he had a testimony. And he said, you come against me with the sword and with the spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God of Israel. So when you're going into battle, you need to ask yourself, what are you carrying? David had that assurance that God was with him. And if you look at the description of that battle and how it went and how he succeeded, it was just because God was with him. Because you look at um, a giant, an experienced man of war, fighting against a boy who was poorly armed, just with five smooth stones from the stream and a sling. But the Bible says that he just used one stone to kill the giant. When you're walking with God, you don't fight conventional battles. God has his own ways of dealing with people, dealing with issues, uh, dealing with challenges, dealing with our enemies. And so David trusted in God. He literally walked with God into the battlefield and came out victorious. And from that time on, we see him fighting numerous wars and scoring victories wherever he went. And the secret of his success lies in the fact that he was a man who walked with God. Many times you'd see him praying and asking God, should I get into this battle? Should I go? And the Lord would say, yes, go you'll be victorious. In some other places, he would he'll be told, do not go that way. he will be given a strategy on how to go into war. That's how we should live as Christians, uh, not just in 2023, but going forward in our lives. We need to have God on our side because you plus God are always majority. It doesn't matter how many people are surrounding you. When God is on your side, you are always the majority. And that's why the psalmist speaks in Psalms 27. And he says, the Lord is the stronghold of my life. I shall not fear. I shall not be afraid. Because he knows that when he has God, he is more than a conqueror. And I just want to read your scripture from Psalms uh, 27, the encouragement. Uh, he says, from verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is a stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You know, if God is not on your side, you have every reason to fear the future, to fear um, 
the enemy. But when you have God, there's nothing to fear. He says in verse 2, when evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. You know, um, every one of us will be attacked by the enemy in one way or another. You may be attacked in your business, you may be attacked in your place of work, you may be attacked in your ministry, you may be attacked in your health, your finances. And when you have God on your side, your enemies will stumble and fall. I like verse 3, he says, Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. We have this confidence in us that God is on our side. There is no situation that is going to come that is too difficult for us to ascend, to deal with when we have God. So I want to encourage you, in the year 2023, you can declare that this is the year of walking with God. Whatever I go, whatever I do, the challenges that I face, the assignments I have, I need God on my side to be victorious. And uh, David is such an encouragement that he lived. And even at the end of his life, you look back and say, it is God who has given me victory. It is God who has given me rest on every side. And I am sure that we are going to face challenges in 2023 that we have never seen before. Hostile uh, governments or uh, government um, regulations, hostility against Christianity, against our faith. We must have God on our side. Then we will walk with confidence without fear, knowing that we are able to tackle every single challenge that comes, um, whether it comes during the day, whether it comes during the night, at any time of our lives, we'll be able to tackle it because we have God on our side. And so the question that you have to ask yourself on a daily basis, is God with me as I go out to work, as I deal with these relationship issues? You know, uh, the challenges that have come, probably it's the children. You all need to ask yourself, is God on my side? If you have God, you can be confident, you can go into battle, and you can win. And the story that I, I talked about, I, uh, the place called I, you realize that when Moses finally authorized them to go and fight, it was a walkover because God was with them. When God is with you, you are assured of victory. When God is absent, I'm telling you, it is a disastrous situation and it is tragic. And the Lord help us uh, to see the importance of walking with him and may we truly, truly, from deep down our hearts, choose to walk with God in 2023. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we get very excited when we read in the scriptures, we see what you have done in the lives of your people, how you have fought battles for them, and how you have moved them on from one level of success to another. And when... Uh, but in those stories, we realize that, Father, it was not because of their mighty strength. It was not because they were superhumans, but it is just because you were on their side. They chose to walk with you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you help us not to lay our hope or our trust in our previous experiences, in our own strength, in our our unique abilities as human beings, not even to rely on our friends or relatives 
or people who, who, who know what to do. But that, Father, we may rely on you alone. That our hope, our trust, our confidence would be in the God of heaven. Help us, Lord, today, every one of us, Lord, that we shall trust you. Even as we walk into this new year, that we shall walk with confidence, knowing that the Lord is on our side, and we are more than conquerors through the Lord Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah.